Hi, this is Dave, and I'm with Kevin Shaw, who's yes. uh, an internationally renowned colorist, and we're going to be talking about these amazing monitors and the sort of workflows you can do for really good money these days. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're a hugely experienced colorist, and you're standing in front of what I can only say is one of the most minimalist looking workflows I've ever seen. But before <laughs> yes. we come on to that, can you just tell us a little bit about your experience? And Yeah, sure. I started grading in the 1980s, um, before we were colorists, when we were telecine engineers and all that sort of thing. Um, so I've been in the market 35 years. In that time, obviously, I've worked through the various software and hardware resolution, uh, revolutions. Um, I worked at Da Vinci as the, their first director of training. And then I joined up with Warren Eagles when that got shut down, Black Magic bought over. Then um, we started the Colorist Academy, the International Colorist Academy. And then uh, three years ago now, I also started the Colorist Society International to represent colorists and really to help people understand how the colorist contributes to a project, workflows, um, raising standards, that sort of thing. Because you can do things now that you would never have dreamt of back in the days of, of film. Yes, well, and it's a very different job because back in those days we were very much, you know, a bridge between production and post-production. Yeah. Now we're really firmly encamped as finishing delivery. Yeah. So it's a much more technical job. And then the creative side, well, I always sort of make a joke about it, but it's not that funny. Um, you know, back in, back in the 1980s, you would have maybe four hours to do a commercial, maybe a couple of weeks to do a film, two, three weeks to do a, a motion picture. Now, 30 years later, we still have the same time and we have to do all this other stuff. You know, yeah. we have to get so much more yeah. efficient. Yeah, yeah, you can go so much deeper. Yeah. I guess what's changed since then as well, uh, even though you, you, you know, with Da Vinci, you could do things digitally now, the size of the equipment and the cost of the equipment you need for a viable workflow has absolutely plummeted. Plummeted, yes. So can you, can you talk us through the sort of thing we've, we've got here? Sure. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I call this my, my new laptop, actually. So uh, first of all, my job has changed. So I'm a, I'm a freelance colorist, and so there's a lot of travel involved. And the, the workflow has changed. So in the old days, you had a big expensive suite, a lot of equipment, not very portable, and people came to you. Nowadays, it's much more common to at least discuss projects remotely, or maybe even to discuss them sort of in an office or something, go away and do some work, and then eventually there might be a screening at the end, but a lot of times we're working in different continents. And so, the most important tool of all the equipment that we have, you know, there's the color corrector and there's scopes, but the most important tool, of course, is the monitor. If that monitor is not accurate, then all of this goes to pieces. And this is very special. I mean, not only is it very minimalist, as you say, and, and very slim, but it's the largest OLED available, and it's an RGB OLED. So the big problem we have with consumer television OLEDs is they use white OLEDs, and they don't calibrate up into the HDR brightness range. Whereas this is RGB, and so we get really good color accuracy all the way through the range. It helps that it's also Dolby Vision certified, so we can use it for quality control of encoded files. And uh, so I can use it for 709, I can use it for DCI-P3, I can use it for HDR10, HLG, Dolby Vision, the whole bit. Yeah, it's, it's a great piece of kit. And, and so, you know, we're seeing it at the moment showing some amazingly vivid colors, but uh, you also need it to be deal with subtle, subtle gradations of colors as well. And do you, yes. do you find this, this give, gives you that kind of? Yeah, and it's not just, it's not just subtle gradation of color, but also tone. Yeah. So another nice thing about the OLEDs is with their really deep blacks, yes. even if you're in a, you know, if I'm doing a presentation in a bright office and I'm working with producers or agencies, then the OLED will still work in relatively bright situations. Um, so yes, it gives me good gradation. And you know, especially for HDR, the whole idea about color has changed. In SDR, we're mostly concerned with chromaticity, so saturation and hue. 
But in HDR, we have this new parameter where we can have bright colors. I call it the stained glass window yeah. effect. You know, if you think about a stained glass window in 709, it can be bright but have no color, or it can be dark and have a lot of color, but you can't do both. Now you can do both, and a display like this really um, excels at letting you judge that. Yeah. Fantastic. Kevin, thanks ever so much. You're very welcome.